Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do Virgo for September 2020. Let's see what's going to happen. So August month has been a very lucky month for most of the Virgos. So let's see how things are rolling up in uh, September. So this is going to be as usual I say. General reading, take it how it resonates for personal readings and more accuracy. You can WhatsApp me or Instagram me, right? Also, watch some short horoscopes on Instagram as well. Join me there if you want to stay connected with tarot-related offers and updates. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Virgo, you're being in a very Queen of Wands energy. I feel that you're going to be very, very... <clears throat> Uh, attractive to people around you you're going to bring out your creativity your feminine side out so people will find you very attractive you'll grab attention of a lot of people I feel that there is some Virgo Taurus Capricorn interested in you okay <clears throat> there's some communication happening between this person and you I feel that someone wants to communicate but, but uh, with you, but you might not give them that kind of attention that they want from you. Okay, you might be busy in yourself and this might be bothering this person. That is why this person is like kind of deciding if they should make a move towards you, if they should talk to you or not. Okay. Well, well please. Alright, alright. Oh my god, so there is someone who is thinking of marriage with you, okay, and, uh, but there's some stuck energy, right, there's some stuck energy, there's, there's no flow between you guys, maybe one person is not attending much towards the other person, this is why I feel that this person has been like, trying very hard to get your attention or grab your attention, but you're looking somewhere else, at least that's what they think, and yes, this person could be a Gemini, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn strongly. Okay, so they have those, uh, that kind of a bond. They want to have that kind of a bond with you. They see you like they're soulmate, but they are not being able to express to you because they are not able to come forward, okay? They're not feeling very in flow right now and they might be also worried that you might have rejected them in the past or made them feel incapable unknowingly so they're not feeling like they're worth it in this connection that is the problem but i feel that this person could be a gemini aquarius or a libra they were feeling very much unloved in the past but now they're coming back okay they're coming back faster and stronger this time right so they were in a contemplation but i also feel that they feel blocked by you or they feel that you have a lot of walls around you and it's really hard to get to those layers you know to be with you or you might be having a lot of options you know competing for you so they have to compete with a lot of options to actually get to you so that is like hard game for them you know and it's also very difficult for them to make you understand because you're the ultimate uh, desire kind of okay so this year is someone who is very very uh, successful in life or who has everything set in place and who's very good looking have everything uh, well uh, maybe you are quite well off and they see that you have everything there in your life when it comes to money love finances self-love is also there so they might also see you as someone who might not give them a chance or who might not see them your worth, okay, or worth it. So this is the problem. They might be having some issues expressing their true self towards you. Yes, there's this person who does want to have a marital bond or a long-term bond with you. They see that with you in long-term and this person could be an Aries Sagittarius Leo, okay. So they, they want to have that long-term connection with you and they're also not letting this go. They're, they're going to keep their tabs towards on you, okay? So they're going to maintain, you know, uh, their space in your life. Like they're not, let, they're not letting go of this situation. But right now I feel that they're very angry. They're angry because you might not be 
paying them attention, the kind of attention that they're looking for, something long term. So they're feeling single, they're feeling alone, they're feeling left out in the cold as well. But they're thinking a lot in their mind and they're feeling sad about it because it's really hard to get to your core or to reach you because there's a lot of competition. Yeah. So I feel that Virgo, there's not just one person interested in you, there are more, many. Okay, and this is why it's like confusing them if they should let this go or if they should just stay. But I feel that they're going to make a decision to just stay for a while and stay cold for a while and see how things roll between you guys. But they are making a decision if they should talk to you or they should just stay still and watch you from far away. Virgo, please. But I feel that things are going to turn in their favor soon. Whatever they want from this relationship or the, the connection, they will get it. Okay, you'll ultimately start uh, attending to, to their needs. Okay, soon. Yeah, because you mean a world to them. The CEO is someone they can have, they can be rest of their life with. <clears throat> okay, so this is a general reading. It may not resonate in personal reading. So be careful, okay? This is not a personal reading, right? So this is for your motivational purposes and most of the answers do uh, do get right on point, you know? So yeah, they, they pretty much want marriage with you or they pretty much want a connection or a commitment that will turn into marriage soon, okay? So they're going to stick to their decision and what they have thought in their mind, they're gonna work on it. I also feel that you guys might have gone through a conflict with this person um you guys might have fought with this person subconsciously or unintentionally there was a fight that happened because of which you guys are not talking to each other but i do feel that there will be a uh, this person will try to talk to you again okay this person will make the efforts to make this connection work again and uh you know they'll ask for a new stable beginning with you they might even offer you marriage properly I feel that this person is not going anywhere. This person just wants to resolve issues with you right now. Okay. They're coming back. Okay. Okay. So I feel that there, there are more than one option interested in you. All right. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. And that is why they find it difficult to actually be that one person for you in your life. Because you might have, you might be... Focusing on other options, but this person is trying hard to, you know, brush off these options from your life and be that one and only, okay? And they want to bring in that <clears throat> stable commitment, that stable stability in a relationship, a beginning, a new beginning. They're not letting you go because you're the, someone they're addicted to and uh, they're obsessed with. So it could be in a negative way, but let's see what happens in future. But right now, they're very codependent on you. They're not letting you go, all right? Be careful. For some of you, this person might be interested in your finances, so be careful about that. World of Peace, World of War, September. So I feel that you guys are going to express your feelings to each other, express what bothers you and yes this is a kind of a true love connection between you guys i feel that both of you feel this love the feelings for each other truly from heart okay and you guys are going to express your feelings from, with each other express each other what's bothering you what's not bothering you not for you i feel that you've been overthinking a lot and this is a time where Overthinking is not going to work for you, okay? It's not. So just go with the flow and let's see how things happen, okay? So, yeah. Also feel that whether you don't like to think too much because it creates chaos and conflict in your life. I feel that you're dealing with this person. Right now, you guys are in a chaos and a conflict, but right now you don't have to, you know, stick or control things like this. This situation will unfold naturally on its own let the thing be on its own don't try to control things otherwise it will create more chaos and conflict in this connection your hard work is paying off i feel that you've been working hard in making in growing your finances some of you might be dealing with a capricorn or you might have made a lot of efforts in mending the relationship but let it go just let it go with the flow okay things are going to come back into normal 
it's time to take action you're good enough i feel virgo this is your card i feel that you need to work on your goals more you need to work on your finances more to be more attractive and uh, yes this person could be in aries or they might have aries in their chart they're going to take action towards you so they're going to actually express their feelings all right right now you guys might be in conflict or you guys can get into a conflict well please yeah, so there's strongly new beginning happening with this person. I feel this person is going to complete the 360 and come back to you. Okay, or maybe they will feel guilty about their behavior and they're going to express that. Virgo. Alright, so. Trust. I feel that you need to trust this person and you need to risk. A little bit of risk is okay in this relationship so this might not be a message for each and everyone but yeah if you're going through this kind of a scenario and you feel that the person is safe then it's okay to trust this person for just once okay i feel they want you to trust them this person might be in love with the books and they might be doing something related to books or writing books or academics stuff like that some of you i feel i sense this person could be into law or dealing with loss scenario what are the signs that might be coming towards Virgo Aquarius this person could be having Aquarius Capricorn Libra okay All right, so what are other signs that might be interested in you or you might be dealing with in September? All right, okay. Libra, there's a strong Libra energy over here. I feel that most of you Virgos are dealing with Libras or they have Libra in their chart somewhere. So all the best. So this was your reading. If this resonated, please do comment in the comment section and subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon also like this video all right till then we'll see you next time bye bye